Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we have some examples with a few expressions where there's more than one variable in each expression and we're asked to evaluate the expressions. We always must be given the value for the unknowns. In this case they say x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 2 in our first example. But before we can evaluate it we should first get rid of the parentheses and then combine like terms if there are any. Let's go ahead and do that. The first step is let's get rid of the parentheses. That means we need to distribute the 3 on the both terms inside the parentheses. This then becomes 4x minus 2y plus 3 times 2x which is plus 6x and plus 3 times a negative y which is a minus 3y. Now we're going to combine like terms. First of all we can combine the terms that have an x in them. This becomes equal to 4 plus 6 which is 10x and then we can combine the terms that have a y in them minus 2 minus 3 which is a minus 5y. And now we can go here and we say look when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 2 we're going to plug those values into our two unknowns. This then becomes 10 times instead of x we write the number 3 minus 5 times instead of y we write the number negative 2. This is equal to 10 times 3 which is 30 and a minus 5 times a minus 2 is a plus 10 which means the expression evaluated when x equals 3 and y equals negative 2 is equal to 40. Here's our second expression. Notice again we have two unknowns, x and y. Also notice that here we have a term where x is squared and there we have a term where y is squared. We can't simplify it anymore because there's three uh, terms in this expression and all three terms have different letter parts. So therefore the letter parts are not identical. We cannot combine or any like terms. So let's go ahead now and substitute for x we're going to write a 3 for every y we're going to write the number 1. Here we have x squared this becomes the number 3 squared plus 2 times x which is 3 and y which is 1 plus y squared y is the number 1 becomes 1 squared. Notice how I use parentheses that makes it easier for me to realize how I am substituting. Instead of x I'm going to write number 3, instead of x I'll write 3, instead of y I'll write 1. And that makes it easier to see what we're doing. Now we're going to simplify this. 3 squared is 9 plus 2 times 3 is 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 squared is 1. Adding it all together that would be 16 and that would be the expression evaluated when x equals 3 and y equals 1. And that's how we do that.